G'day! In today's video, I'm opening up a Nokia 5.1 Plus. This one has a clogged earpiece speaker right at the top of the phone. And I want to get in there to clear it out from the inside out, not the outside in. Granted, you could probably try and use an air compressor to give it a blowout, but I much prefer to blow it out from the inside. I'm going to use some isopropyl. Take the back cover off. And I have had this on my blue heat pad for about, uh, about five minutes. It should be enough to get in there. Combine that with the isopropyl alcohol and the fin pry tool. I should be all right. Feel the adhesive there. Now I do have to be careful here. I'm not sure where that flex cable is going for the fingerprint reader. I really don't want to slice it. Okay. There we go. And we have one connector here. There we go. I'm looking here, I should hopefully be able to take the shield off without having to take off the whole assembly. Looks to be a T4 screw. What have we got here? I have a T4. And that's fitting. I have a T4. Surely all these are going to be T4s. Go. I should be able to use a pair of tweezers. One more hidden under here. Possibly another one further up. Bingo. Now we're in. Now I want to disconnect the battery, the screen, lower flex connector. And the antenna cable. Now, we do have a SIM card tray that does need to come out over here. Go. Okay. Should just be able to lift up the board. With a bit of luck. Mm, let's see any other screws holding it. He's being very stubborn though. Right, I'll go from that side. Go right now, get him somewhere. Just like twist or a wobble. No. A screw hidden under there. No. Now we've left. One board removed. Now, if the heat's still on here, I should be able to take out this the EP speaker. I'll rotate it around. And I want to dig underneath it. Like so. One EP speaker removed. I'll rotate it around the other way. Because I'm going to rotate this around the other way. And from here, I should be able to give this a little bit of isopropyl in there. And give it a blast with an air compressor from behind. That should clear out the vast majority of the dirt here. The usual good way to try and see if you can figure out how dirty it is. 
is probably that way. Should be able to see the light pass through, which at this point it does look like it is passing through. So maybe it's not as bad as I first initially thought. I hold it there. But a clean won't hurt it. So we now had that dust blow out. Put the UP speaker back in. Put the main board back in. Zoom in. Now we're going to reconnect a few things. One of which screen, screen, PCB daughter board, antenna cable. This kind of lines up over the top, and then you need to push it down. And if you've got it on correctly, you should be able to spin it slightly without it popping off. So that's pushed down. So you're going to Give it a nudge, it returns, that's fine. Next up is the battery. Daughter board came off, there we go. Put this back on top. And then we're gonna to proceed to put the, all those screws back in. Which, this slid into the side, and fold it down. Okay. Grab the T4 screwdriver once more. Proceed to put those screws back in. Do be cautious as they are of different length. Where the smaller silver ones look to make contact onto here, the larger ones look to make contact where it's already black. Screw should go here. I have muddled up some of them, but going by the logic of the longer screws go where it's black, we're still going just fine. That's my heat pad beeping, saying it's turning off. The screw should be fine over here. Two more screws. Now, since I've had this on the heat pad here remaining tacky, I should be able to push this back together and we should stick together reasonably well. You may have to clear off the adhesive that you've already got. But for the minute, but for the minute, I should be right before I'm done. No screws remaining. Sim tray back in. Go and lastly reconnecting this. So you should be able to fold it like so. And it should be lined up over the top. And push, fold, and there, depending on how much adhesive you've still got remaining, you might be able to push it back together like this, otherwise you might have to replace that adhesive. Anyway, hope that helps, and that should hopefully make this speaker a little bit easier to hear on this Nokia 5.1 Plus. Bye.